Welcome back anime fans, today we've got Hua Tien Girls Carnival and this box is a bit of a mystery to me because I don't think many people in the waifu card discord community have opened this box yet so I actually don't know what to expect um, I'm hoping for some nice looking cards because the outer box suggests that we're gonna, we're gonna get a lot of bikini girl cards so I'm hoping the content match the uh, outer box but sometimes it doesn't so let's crack in so it looks like you get a little pull tab here we pull the tab here i'm assuming it slides out okay it doesn't slide out that easily oh that, oh this is this is hard to slide out okay it looks like it's stuck or something i don't know maybe if i switch hands it'll help oh there we go okay so we get one pack that looks slightly different to the others so i'm assuming this is our hit pack and then we have a load of other packs as well Okay. The packs feel very airy, as in the packs feel like they're very big, but there's very little content inside. So I'm not sure how I, uh, how 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 well that bodes. Oh, okay. So this is what the back looks like. It looks like they've all got the same back. It actually says the name of the set here. Uh, let me just focus. Hua Tian Girls Carnival, and then let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, I, I'm liking these designs. I'm liking these designs a lot. Um, I don't know who this character here is, but in the English it says Raw Soap Noah. I'm not sure if that is the actual name of the girl, or if they've just taken the name of the girl in Chinese and chucked it into Google Translate. And because they've taken the name of the girl from the Japanese to get the Chinese, uh, it obviously doesn't really translate well three ways so i feel maybe that's what's happened here let's see uh if there's other okay yeah i feel like um uh, blue eyes okay i mean i mean technically it's correct she does have blue eyes but i don't think that's her name uh yeah okay so subasa nanase okay this this one could be correct um, and I actually quite like the, these cards. So uh, let me just go over the quality of these cards. There's no texture or anything. The whole card feels glossy. The print is slightly dark. Um, it works quite well, actually. Um, all the prints are quite dark. The colors aren't that vibrant, but because of the background and the colors in the background, it actually does work quite well. Uh, and this one is Nanake Irunai. Yeah, I feel like what they've done is they've just taken the name of the girl, the kanji of the girl, uh, and then ba basically just chucked it into Google Translate or some sort of machine translation to get the English name. Uh, who do we have here? We have K. Kurizawa. That could be correct. I don't know. I don't know where these girls are from, but I do like their choice of artwork. And then we have Dream Dream. Okay, so okay, so I know what's happened here. So this is Momo. Okay, and Momo is from Two Love Group. Her name in Chinese is Mong Mong, which is what it says here in Chinese. And Mong means dream. So that's why you that's why what's happened here is it's just come up with dream dream. Um so yeah. In fact, hit here in Japanese, uh, if I focus, uh, there we go. What it says here is Watashi no Namai wa Yume this. But no, that's not correct. This she's called Momo. So yeah, I feel like there's some obvious naming issues with this set here. So they've literally just taken the Chinese name of the girl. Because uh, I'm pretty sure Momo, um, uh, her name is written in hiragana or katakana, which doesn't translate into Chinese directly because they're not Chinese characters. So the Chinese name for Momo is actually Mong Mong, and Mong means dream. So yeah, this is a. Uh, it's, it's, it's a bit disappointing to see these kind of naming issues because obviously they've done a lot of work to the design of these cars, um, and to see them kind of falter at the naming is a bit disappointing especially because i really like the quality of these cards um and i mean i mean look at this card why her eyes okay so her eyes look really dark from this angle it kind of looks almost demonic uh but when you uh when you tilt it her eyes are just very foily i, I i'm not sure if i like this to be honest with you I, I feel like it's a bit creepy i wish they didn't do this with her eyes and just made it like a normal foil <laughs> she looks so demonic here i don't actually know who this is um i think uh, it says Silver Rock. Uh, I don't know who this is. Oh, and the back is foil as well, unlike the other cards. So uh, I guess this is like a hit of the bots or something. 
uh, apart from the pack. Uh, so this is another character. This is Kobayashi. I don't know who Kobayashi is though. Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. Okay, I love this card. I don't know the characters. I don't think, I'm not even sure they are actually anime characters, but I love this card so much. It's very basic. There's just foil in the background. There's no art line, no embossing or anything, but I feel it works really well for this card. Uh, it, this, this card looks elegant. I think that's, that, that's what I'm looking for. It's elegant and it's slightly different to the other cards uh, on the back as well. Okay, I, I, I'm a big fan of this card and it reminds me of kind of like what we would expect from the outer box because it's just girls in swimsuits and bikinis. Uh, we've got this Nanake Irunai girl again. Oh, we've got a puzzle piece card. Uh, I don't care for it, so this will go in the bin. Uh, and then this is Tangerine Fla Flower. Yeah, there's some real translation issues here, so they've just taken the name of the girl in Chinese and chucked it into machine translation for the English. It's a bit of a shame, it really is. Because the cards are nice, the quality is good, but they've kind of really disappointed on the naming here. Oh, this looks like um, Mikoto Misaka. In fact, it is Mikoto Misaka, and they've actually got the name right. So they got the name right here because her name in Japanese is written with kanji, which is Chinese characters. Uh, and because of that, there's a direct translation for her name, which probably means why it works well. Uh, this is Tosuka Rin, I think, uh, but they've called her Rin and Bana because, okay, because they've, Rin, okay. I don't know why, how they've gotten Rin and Bana. I think in Bana is how you'd read these two characters, the first two characters in um, the, um, I think it's Konyomi or Onyomi, I think it's Kon Konyomi, where basically you read Japanese in the Chinese kind of pronunciation. I think that's how they got Rin and Bana here. Uh, this looks like Eri Spencer from Sai Kano. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is Eri because that's, I think that's how they do her name in Chinese. But this first character here uh, is the kind of like Ing in England or English. Uh, so what's What's happened here is uh, they've translated her to English pear because pear in Chinese is Li, so this is meant to say Eri, um, like Eri Spencer for her name, but they've just translated it into English pear, which is kind of funny, but at the same time, quite sad given that I actually really like these cards. They're a bit dark, the print, but they work well given that the background is also dark. Uh, who have we got here? This kind of looks like um, Chisato from licorice recoil i think i think it is i think that actually does say it there in japanese in the last two characters or chinese um but obviously the characters in english are wrong because they've screwed up the machine translation very disappointing and then this is oh wow this is okay so they've gotten half of a name correct they've gotten kasumi galka correct so this is kasumi from saikano as well so she's the other kind of main female protagonist in Sai Kano, apart from the other girl, uh, Megami Kato. And then we are on to our final normal pack of this box. Oh, okay, so we have another girl here of the Kai Kurisawa. We've pulled her before, I think. And then we've got Tangerine Flower again. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. That's all the normal cards. I, I wish, I wish they had just fixed the English name of the girls because if they had, I would really, really love this set and it, this would be an easy recommendation um, because the artwork does look very nice. The printing is a bit dark. As you guys can see here, the colors are a bit dark on all the girls, but it works fine, I think. It, it works fine for this set. Um, whereas it didn't for Anime Beauties, it looked like it was low quality, but this actually looked quite nice because it was because it's dark color here it kind of looks like it's a light novel kind of illustration i, I really like it um and on to our hit pack for the box oh wow it's got falling on the back so i'm expecting something nice what have we got oh wow we have an or rarity card okay so the whole card is kind of like in some sort of silhouette uh, I'm not sure if that's intentional. 
I can't really make out what the silhouette's meant to be, but look at how this part is darker and this part is darker. Um, I don't really know what the silhouette's meant to be, but that's pretty cool. I don't know who this character is. Uh, Azusa, I think it says in, in the corner here. Oh, let me just try and focus a bit better. So yeah, I don't know who this character is, but yeah, very cool card. I mean, at the end of the day, I really, I, 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 these are my favorite cards of the set. I just really wish they had gotten the name of the girl in English correctly because these cards would look so great in a binder if they actually got the name right. So there we go, guys. This was uh, Hua Tian Girls Carnival. Uh, would I recommend this set? Unfortunately, I feel because of the English translation issues, I, I, I personally wouldn't advise anybody getting this box unless you really like the artwork. I mean, I like the artwork. But just having this in my binder and having the names being incorrect just ruins it so much, I feel. Um, it just ruins it too much for me to actually want to display these cards. So there we go. If you do want to buy it um, for the artwork, then fair enough. I will leave a link in the description to where I got this in case you do want it. And of course, I will also leave a link in the description to the Wi-Fi Card Community Discord, which I mentioned earlier, where we all kind of amalgamate all our pools and work out set lists together, etc. Um, and of course, if you did enjoy this video and you do like Wi-Fi cards, please consider subscribing and watching my other videos. And until then, I will see you guys next time.